Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total Realism with me, Grey Hunter, where last time we took things, besieged stuff. And this time we have many assaults to do. So I know when I left off last time, so long ago, and so very, very long ago, I apologize for that. But you know, real life. Uh, when we left off so very long ago, we had just besieged Farnesia and I had said that we would assault that next time that we played, but what I've decided to do instead is actually start with Jerusalem, because Jerusalem is one of the victory settlements, and, you know, it's right. We should get this, we should get this session off to a good start, because I want to make this the final session, so I'm going to play all the way through to the very, very end of the game. I'm not sure yet whether or not I'm going to let Antioch be sieged out. Uh, how long have they got? They have eight turns. Eight, eight turns isn't really that long. Eight turns is fairly short of time, actually. Um, mainly because the Seleucids are running out of armies. There's They don't have that much left to throw at us. So, whereas before we would be playing the same turn for maybe two or three videos because they had so very much to throw at us, they're running out of troops. They don't have that many men left, I shouldn't imagine. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that that is the last regular size, no, I say regular, I mean kind of large, large-ish army that they can actually spare from the east. And I'm hoping that as we continue to move our spies out that way, we will get info to confirm that. You can move over here actually, because I want eyes on everything. And we've locked them off from several uh, ways to get to us, so they have to come across certain places. Um, we have a ton of spies in there. Yes, master. We kind of need them for things and stuff and, you know, all that sort of thing. So, let's start recruiting more spies, because we need them. Can this spy move? I don't remember if I used him last time. Yes, I did. Okay, so, we'll actually send him over this way, because he can't actually help yet anyway, so he might as well be useful and find out what's going on over in this direction. How much further can you move? You can move a ton, so can you. Okay, in that case, you get to sit over here in this mountain pass. You get to sit over here by Seleucia. And you, when the time comes next turn, stop stop having a seizure. You will go find out what's happening next to Duro Europas. Or however it is you say that. That place on the Tigris. Close enough. I think that's the Tigris, or is it the Euphrates? This area, <laughs> let's just leave it with that, this area with lots of rivers and stuff. So we will attack in a minute, um, this is a bit of a problem, because we do need these people to be happy. I'm building a temple for them, let's queue up this one as well, and can we get, we can get Galatian Swordsman, okay. Let's get four units of those and send this one over that way and we'll make a rally point where he finished up. There we go. So we'll keep throwing more and more auxiliary troops into garrisoning positions so that we can move our better, more experienced troops up into the fight. Appius Fabius Maximus is actually an okay combat commander, though we can't really use him for anything. I'm tempted to assault this place. But then I think about it and realize that we don't actually have any Roman troops to assault with, so that might not be the best plan in the history of the plans I've had. General. You're okay there. General. You I want to move over this way to hold this forward. I think we're ready. I think we are ready. There's stuff going on in Spain, but we'll deal with that in a few minutes. I say a few minutes, it'll, it'll take a little bit longer than that to take Jerusalem, but as I said, I do want to try and finish this uh, LP in this session because we have a lot of other games that need LP. We do. It is a thing. We have other games that we need to LP, so we must get our hustle on. Alright, attack it, assault it. What have you actually got? Not all that much actually. Mashamoy Spearmen, Libyan Pikes. Jason Olites, I think that's 
what this name means. Like, it's the... It's the... Egyptianization, I guess? Of the name Jason? I'm pretty sure it is. So, let us attack. We'll use our Arabians to, uh, to take the walls. Our usual fare. You know. Some people have said, hey, how come you don't auto-battle these things? And the reason is actually, even though I would win most of the time, I don't like losing my good troops. I'm a little bit obsessive-compulsive about that. And once I start auto-battling, I know that I'll just keep doing it, and then I'll lose a battle, and I'll be really annoyed by it. Rain is bad. There we go. leading men to victory. I see no reason to change the habits of a lifetime today. Those men are the servants of Pharaoh. Nah, you know, you don't really have anything decent. We don't need to worry about getting you the famous orator speech thingy. Okay, so what have we got? We got one gate over here, one gate there, and one gate there, which would suggest that the good spot to put these guys is here, because that way, if they can't go in through these walls, they won't be stuck. And I'll give them two cohorts to back them up and the Iberians and then these guys will form actually let's just put the whole army over here yeah let's do that these guys probably won't have to do all that much but they can sit over here anyway this unit can move over this way once the battle starts and the cavalry can stay over by uh, this gate just to distract them should work okay okay so they have blocked off this gate which means what we will have to do is go around them but that shouldn't be too difficult so let us go there's not that much resistance in Jerusalem. At least there shouldn't be. It'll mainly be fighting on the city square, which is, you know, tedious and all, but eh. It's gotta be done. I just wish that the city square didn't um, give unbreakability to units. That's the most irritating thing about sieges, is that you fight and then you have to, you know, kill everybody on that city square they're not they're not gonna hold out to the last man every single time it would be nice if there was a chance for them to all break and run anyway but you know this game is old so I guess I can cut it some slack just a little bit all right get in there go go take them gates Ah, oh, I thought for a second there we wouldn't have to worry about them being shot at. They were doing so well. Okay, get inside. Now take them walls. Nice. Uh, I, I, I know I said I was going to move these guys, but in hindsight, it doesn't really make much sense to do so. So, we'll keep them there. We'll just do the whole assault on the on the gate thing. Now, I wonder if our towers will fire backwards. Actually, there is a good reason. The walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. We can flank the guys sitting inside. I don't know. We can always fight our way through them if we have to. Hmm. I'll start moving these guys over here. Right now, you need to take this tower really, really goddamn quick so that they don't shoot at my legionaries. Thank you. Alright, keep going. You guys need to keep moving over here. They should be outside of the range of those other towers. Get up there. At the double. Yes, yes, you guys are tired. I know, I know. You are very hard done by. 
Where is that regiment of troops? Did I somehow miss where they were? It says that they're... Oh! Oh! They're there! I see. Well, in that case, we definitely want to take this. And we definitely want to get these troops inside as quickly as possible, just in case we can catch them before they come back to the city square. What are you being shot at by? By what? Oh, what? They took back the gate? God damn it. How in the hell did they do that? Or did I just never capture it? It is possible that we just never captured the gate. That is a thing. But I could have sworn that we did. Please get up there and stop them from shooting at my Aquila legionaries. Thank you, God. Oof. It's hard to get decent help. Okay, now we can go. I could have sworn, though, that they had captured that gate when I sent them in there, but apparently I was wrong. Now don't fuck it up again. Capture this gate for damn sure. Thank you. Okay. So we'll want to set up these guys right about there. I'm not sure if our troops will be able to get in from over here without being shot at. It is possible that they might not. Um, we'll tr no, no, we won't bother trying. It's not, it's not needed. They can come later. We have all these guys inside. Oh, hey. Slow me down, slow me down. Kill this son of a bitch. Oh, no, no, stop, stop. You guys killed this son of a bitch. Go, kill him. I didn't think he'd come out of the city square. Gotcha. Let gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. And now Fear we have murdered most of the heavy parts. cavalry that would have actually been a threat to us. Very nice. Go team. Go team. Now, are you guys? I see the enemy routing. What enemy? Oh. They're not. <laughs> you damn fools. Okay, well, in that case, you can get... No, I didn't want you to go quite over there, camera. Camera, stop it. Go there, take it. These guys are okay. You need to get down here at the double. And you gentlemen need to turn like that and make ready actually you guys can stop right outside the gate like right there yes yes you're exhausted it'll be worth it I promise the Empire thanks you I mean the Republic yes totally a Republic we thank you come on Come on. There we go. Okay, we're within range. At least we should be in a moment. And then we will throw Peeler, and hopefully these guys will die horrible, horrible deaths. And you guys can run in behind them. They should be almost at the gate. Yeah, there they are. Perfect. Ooh, these guys are shaken. Might be an idea to charge them. Yes, do it. Charge. Wavering, shaken, come on. Ah, damn. If you can get in behind them, they might run. Alright, well, we'll speed it up while we wait for them to decide whether or not they're going to bolt. And you guys can charge in the back. There we go. Routing broken. Kill them all! Nice. Okay. Now, a 
Let's get all of our guys over there. Yes. Celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on. Now, we only have to worry about one unit that is remaining. So, let's put you guys as control group number six. And you guys can be control group number two. You need to get in here very, very fast. And you guys need to line up right about there. Alrighty. Good deal, good deal. Well, my computer chugs because this only uses a single core. Come on, game. You know you want to play this through. You know you want to see what the ending is. Okay. Let's put you guys like that. And you guys line up right behind them. I'm hoping that we'll have the range on these fellas, but it's possible that we won't, so we might have to send a unit to bait them into attacking us. Oh no, we do have the range apparently. There we go, come on, come on. Nice. You knew you wanted to do it. You knew you did. Okay, hopefully the peeler, when they come in, we'll kill a fair few of these guys and we won't have to worry so much. Actually, they're not as heavily armored, I don't think. Let's have a look. Yeah, they've only got total defense of 23. We've got, what, 39 on these guys? 27? Yeah. Oh, that looks cool. All those things just flying around. Whoop. There they go. Nice. You have done good work. Okay, stop it now. Continuing to shoot would just cause problems. Alright. You guys need to turn. get around these sons of bitches. Come on. You know you want to. There you go. Now you're doing it. And charge. Alright, let's speed this up. They should die fairly quickly. At least we only have to face one unit on the square. We might even force them off of it, but I doubt it. They seem to be Solidly standing on that square. And then we'll have to deal with... Where the cavalry go? Maybe they died. Come yeah, on, finish them off. Broken and fighting for the death. There we go. Beautiful. So we lost 64 men. Not too bad. I mean, we kind of expected that. The Aquila Legionaries took the brunt of the attack, but they got 11 men back, so, you know, swings and roundabouts. You win some, you lose some. Alright, so that is Jerusalem taken. I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of money to be had from this. this land is Roman. Well, maybe not a lot, but some. Enough. And we'll destroy this provincial barracks, just in case they take it back. I doubt that they will, but you never know. You never can tell. So we'll build two temples. Recruit some spies with all the money that we earned. And... What are you? Ooh, artillery. Artillery could be a danger to us, so I am going to send... The cavalry out. I'm pretty sure I saw some cavalry mercenaries before as well, didn't I? Yes, I did. Arab cavalry, Bedouin archers. We'll take the the Arab cavalry and the Bedouin warriors and attack this guy. Where'd he go? Right there. Get him! Yes! We need to take out this stuff because if we don't, 
it means that they might be able to attack us in Jerusalem, and I'd really rather they didn't do that, because attacking us at Jerusalem would be a costly siege defense for us, and I'd really like to preserve as much of our army as we can, so we can continue to take the uh, the area of the Levant, because we don't need to defend it as much. So we'll break these into two groups. You'll be group number two, but you'll be going in first, because the Roman cavalry is very important. Alright, charge him. Actually, go the walk. Actually, you know what, fuck it. No, run, charge. Let's have a glorious cavalry charge for once. We rarely have those. I said charge, damn it. Go. Faster, speed. Any time you would like. There you go. Faster, faster! Quick, before they kill us all! Whatever, do your own thing. Glorious cavalry charge, here we come. Alright, and split. And split. We'll go around them. You will attack these guys. And you will attack these guys. Glorious cavalry charge. Glorious cavalry charge. Glorious cavalry charge. Kill them all. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was magnificent. Well done. They're already running. These guys are running. Kill them. So we lost a lot of the Arab and Bedouin cavalry, but you know what? I don't care. They're mercenaries. That's why they're there. They die. It's a thing. Come and help. Oh, there they go. No, no, no. Continue. Did we get them all? Oh, there's some of the cowards. Get them. Charge. No, charge, damn it. Kill them. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful sight. All this cavalry. Yes, we have clearly won the battle. I would have been surprised if we didn't win the battle. I'm just going to be completely honest there. I mean, wow. We actually kept all that Roman cavalry, which is nice. Um, I might keep the the uh, mercenary cav because they're not that bad they're kind of expensive but you no know, they're not too expensive can you get back to Jerusalem this turn no okay well in that case everybody hole up in Gaza um, I will send these guys back actually Because that's not the worst place for them to be. And you guys, who, how many of you actually went in this turn? Some of you didn't. Get in there. Get in there. 87%. 93. Okay, so these guys can't really help with that. You guys can sit next to Petra then. Oh, you can go somewhere. Can you? Okay, but you can. In that case, go to Dium. I want to know what's there. Cletios... Cletos Neos Philopater. Hmm. He could be a problem. We'll have to deal with him. He has artillery too. Now, these guys... You don't really have all that much. I'm wondering, because we could force the crossing here. We could. But I'm not sure I want to. I've already used you guys, obviously. Can you get in range to attack him? No. Okay. 
Well, that's not the worst thing in the world, because if they retreat, or if they attack, next turn, they'll be further over this way, so we'll be able to deal with them. Do you have artillery? I don't know. We will find out. And you're a good commander, for use of cavalry in overwhelming numbers. I, li I appreciate it. So, let's have a quick look at our victory conditions. Hold 50 settlements, including Roma, Carthago, Alicia, Pella, Antioch, Alexandria, Sinope, Jerusalem, and Oscar. Of all of those, the only one we don't hold is Antioch. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, I could end it now, but I want to see epic battles. We need final showdowns between us and the Seleucids. We need to consolidate our holdings. We need to take Kamata. These are all things that we need to do. Hmm. I think... Imperator. I think we will leave Antioch alone. At least for now. Yeah, we'll leave Antioch alone, because I want to see what this guy can do with what we've given him. Because I, I had a thought while I was getting ready to play, and it occurs to me that if we kill whatever's in here, we could, theoretically, move on these two. And this guy's a captain, so if we attacked him separately, because this guy's probably not a night fighter, we could probably kill him. But I'm going to take a quick break just to check the recording, make sure all my audio is all good, so I will see you in a moment. <laughs> 